What is the world's most consumed beverage, not counting water? Coffee? Coke? No, it's tea. A tea leaf starts to oxidize as soon as it is plucked. Black teas are fully oxidized. Green teas are swiftly processed with almost no oxidization. Between rich blacks and herby greens, a complex and intriguing semi-oxidized Chinese tea has an elegant throne of its own. It is called the Wulong Tea. Three hundred years ago, a tea planter in southeast China's Anxi County suddenly started to hunt an animal while plucking tea leaves. He ran after the animal with a basket of tea leaves on his back. Focusing on the animal, he forgot to process the tea that day. Surprisingly, the next day he found that the tea leaves gave off a fascinating aroma after being neglected and being shaken and wounded. A new method of processing tea is thus developed. Nowadays. The fully developed craftsmanship of making wulong tea contains over a dozen steps, among which the essential ones include withering and bruising. As the leaves being tossed, the outer rim begins to brown as this part is the first to be oxidized. So, green leaf with a red rim is a key feature of the semi-oxidized wulong tea. Today. With the government's support on preserving and developing intangible cultural heritage, the once impoverished Anxi County in southeast China's Fujian Province has been lifted out of poverty, developing a modern tea industry. As China's tea capital, Anxi is making the world's best varieties of oolong tea.